Hello and welcome to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson and I have just enough time to slip in one more Easter card or gift card holder before we get to Easter. We're going to make this cute little interactive bunny card. The carrot is going to hold it shut. And this is what it looks like when you open it. So it's just a little mini card. It is a slim line size card, but just a trifold. I thought I would do something a little different. So here we go. A slim line size die that's about 3.66 inches tall and eight inches wide. I marked it at two and a third and six and a quarter or you could just do a two and a third and flip it. I really, this scoreboard I think is off just a smidge, but it doesn't matter. It, it'll turn out fine. I scored it with my Teflon bone folder and then you always want to fold backwards on that to get the perfect fold that doesn't crack the paper. So I'm getting everything laid out the way I want it. And I'm going to add some panels to this from another card. I will link below how I made that wood um, paper. And I'm just going to glue those little squares on. It's just little stitched rectangles because I wanted to match the stitching on that slimline die. And you've seen people glue piece of paper to another piece of paper. So I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on that. But that's how the card folds and it is just a smidge off but uh, it really is fine. Now I'm using some sentiments from Stampers Anonymous. I've been watching Tim Holson and I'm, I'm trying some different things. I'm going a little grunge and I hadn't had a chance to use this set much so I'm just going to put the hippity hoppity happy Easter and I can't decide where to put it but that's me. Uh, and that is on a, tem a tonic trimmer and it's on the rubber setting because he uses rubber stamps. And I'm just going to just stamp it um, with another rectangle. I do straighten it up. It's, it works a little different than the Misty and I don't use this as much, but I felt since I was using other things with Thames, I should use this. And I'm just going to use some VersaFine Claire black ink. It does stamp very deep black and it's good for sentiments and you just you don't want to squish this too much or you'll get your letters all squished but just as Tim says stamp with purpose and put your cover back on your little stick it for your Sizzix I love that it, it's so you don't have to use magnets and I thought I would add a little bit to this and I wanted to go a little grunge, so I got out my Walnut Stain Distress Ink and a brush and a blender brush and just going to grunge this up a little bit because it was too white and too stark. And I especially like to catch the corners or catch the stitching. I think it makes it look really nice. Then I spend quite a bit of time going around the fronts and the sides of the card and adding that and making that stitching, you know, really pop. My ink pad is a little dry, so it's taking a while. I, I've just got today a reinker for it. I'm getting in all the little nooks and crannies and creases to give it sort of an aged look. Now here are our bunnies. I wanted these bunnies to be pretty sturdy, especially their little paws, because they're going to be holding the carrot latch. So I'm going to be very careful and glue everywhere but those front paws. Well, I'm going to glue the paws, but I don't want to glue the paws shut. So I got to be very careful. And this is just out of heavyweight white cardstock. Probably 110 pound Nina's, probably what I used. And then I wanted to pop up those little, his little arms pretty quick because I didn't want him to glue shut. And now I'm going to glue the teeny weeny little pieces. Now you could easily color this and it would probably be a lot less time. 
but I wanted to go regulation and use all the pieces of the die set. This is called Carrot Bunny. I'm using my Honey Bee glue. I did get my other glue uh, that with the metal precision tip. I got more of it yesterday, so I'll probably go back to that. I like the Honey Bee all right, but I like the tip on my uh, art glitter glue better. And I'm putting on these little teeny tiny eyeballs. This is just a cute little ornery rabbit. Kind of pushing them down. I want to make sure it's... And I'm using a jewel picker there to put his eyes on. So that's bunny number one. And then, oh, I forgot to do his little ears. So gluing those on. This goes pretty quick. If you were going to mass produce, the, the thing is you, when you're uh, die cutting those little tiny things and then they wind up getting stuck on everything and falling to the floor. I'm gluing my layers together of my carrot and its little greenery. And I'm going to make the bunny a grungy bunny. He was too white. So I'm just adding a little more walnut stain ink. And I'll do the same with the second bunny. But that's kind of what he looks like. Now the carrot, I want to make it a hinge. So I'm sorry it's off camera, but I did a little tiny brad. And I used alcohol ink and made it orange. Now I'm just gluing everything together, checking to make sure everything's going to fit. And it's time to place my bunnies on the top. And the carrot, I realize the carrot really has to go the other way. So it does. I'm gluing my, my little bunnies on, making sure I don't glue the arms down onto that, if I may say myself, pretty impressive wood grain background. I still have another little piece of that and I'm cherishing it for a special project to be determined. So there's bunny number one. And bunny number two. If you hear any chewing in the background, I, I got the dog's bully sticks because they've been pretty good lately. And I was just feeling generous with my COVID relief check. I don't buy much with those. I kind of saved the money, but I wanted to get them something. And so there is our trifold card, and I'm checking to make sure that the carrot, you know, where I want to place that, this will fit in a two size envelope just fine. And I'm going to mark where I want my little brad to be. And then I will mark it on the front of the card. And this really would make a cute little gift card holder too. You just add a couple slits to the inside and stick a gift card in. It would fit perfectly. I'm poking a hole through because I realized that my hole punch was not going to reach. I do a lot of this stuff on the fly. I'm sticking my little mini brad through my carrot and then onto the card front. It's really tiny, so it's hard to separate. So I had to get out my pen blade. And now I'm going to check my mechanism here. I also added a little bit of uh, glitter to the carrot because, you know, most carrots have glitter. In my world, they do. And I wanted to cover up the brad and make the inside of this a little more interesting. So I just put me a couple more carrots on the inside. I hope you are doing well and that you get a chance to enjoy the holiday with your family. I know that we're not supposed to have big groups, but I think things are loosening up a bit. And I missed last year was so, uh, you know, boring. So now as the final check of the mechanism, make sure holding up looks to me like it is 
and there you go. This is the end of our project. I hope you'll consider subscribing, uh, joining me on Facebook and Pinterest and IG. I'm going to leave you a couple of videos here to check out in case you're interested. You take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.